Hello everyone, this is uh, Keith Wall, Word on Wednesday. I'll just open in prayer. Father, we just thank you for watching over us, for caring us, for giving us Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, and for giving us your word that we can know how to live the Christian life and to be strengthened by your spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. I just want to minister today on knowing the difference. I just want to go to John 10.10, 10, the first part of it. The thief comes not but to, for to steal, to kill and to destroy. So we have an enemy, we're in a spiritual warfare. So the devil comes, he only comes for one reason, to kill, to steal, kill and to destroy. And in uh, 1 John 4, 1, I just want to read the verse so that believe not every spirit, but try the spirits. I'm talking to Christians now because we're in a warfare. The devil comes to kill, rob and to destroy. It's for us now to try the spirits that you're not serving or letting the enemy rob you. The reason, some of the reasons that he comes, false religion, false gods, traditions, we can build up the traditions in our life and pass it on to our children, but they've got no reason. They're, they're, they're robbing, the, robbing us of what God's got for us and letting the enemy in. Hate, unforgiveness, that's the big one. A lot of times people are walking in unforgiveness and they don't realise they're giving the devil an opportunity to work in their life. The works of the flesh, you can do the, the, study that out in the Bible yourself, the works of the flesh. He steals the word. This is the thing. If you're not building yourself, in, yourself up in the word, you can let these false spirits into your life. He steals the word. And remember, the word of God is the way you fight the warfare. The word of God is the sword of the spirit. So this is how we fight our warfare. And if we haven't got the word, you've got nothing to fight with. No love. Pride is the big one. Right, now let us go to the next part of John... 10, 10. I am come, this is Jesus speaking, I am come that you might have life and that you might have it more abundantly. Right. So talking to Christians, people that are born again. Jesus comes to give you life and that more abundantly. Right. And this is happening to Christians. He gives you the abundant life but then you neglect the one that gave you the abundant life. Don't neglect your relationship with Jesus Christ and with other Christians. So Jesus comes to give us an abundant life, but you've got to look after that life. Right, now let us go to Acts 4.12. Neither is there salvation in any other name. There's no other name in, under, under heaven whereby men must be saved. Now this is the other point. We're not mixing our religions. Jesus is the only way to the Father. No other name where you must, you know, where you can be saved other than the name of Jesus. You must isolate that one in your life. If you're mixing other religions or other spirits or other traditions with that, you're going to lose out. And this is what can happen. So I'm talking about using the word of God, rightly dividing the word of truth, and knowing the difference. Don't take sides with the enemy against yourself. If you let unbelief in, he's going to rob you. You must stay believing in the Lord's no other name, the name of Jesus. Only Jesus can give us salvation, eternal life. In 1 John chapter 4, John's epistle chapter 4, Beginning at verse 2. Hereby know the Spirit of God, and every spirit that, and the Spirit of, hereby know you the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is of God. Right. Not only do we believe the Word of God, we confess the Word of God. That you believe in your heart and you confess to you with your mouth the Lord Jesus, that God has raised him from the dead. And this is the thing, and that Jesus has come in the flesh. Reading on, every spirit 
that confesses not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is not of God. And this is that spirit of the Antichrist wherein you have heard that it should come and even now already is in the world. So we have, an, we have Jesus Christ our Lord and Saviour. We have an Antichrist that's telling you lies and you need to know the truth of the word of God so as you don't believe those lies. Reading on. They are of the world, therefore speak they of the world, and the world hears them. When we become a Christian, when I become a Christian, I had to stop hearing the world and hearing what God is saying. The world isn't telling you the truth because the enemy is all under the enemy. So we need to make sure that we we're, receive the truth, continue in the truth, and give Jesus Christ the glory. We are of God. He that knoweth God hears us. He that is not of God heareth not us. Hereby know the, the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. So you need to know the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. This is what Jesus has given us. His grace, his love, his mercy, the truth, and the truth sets us free. Study your Bible so you can know the difference he brings us to our Father, and this is the other thing, our redemption, through our redemption of the blood of Jesus Christ, brings us into fellowship with our Heavenly Father. He forgives sins, washed clean through the blood. In John 3, John 3, 15 to 18, that whosoever believeth on him should not perish, but have eternal life. Once you've made your decision for Jesus Christ and you're born again, you must stay with that. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth on him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to recant the world. Now, even if you're not saved, God didn't send Jesus to condemn you. He came to save you. And that the world by... That the world through him might be saved. He that believeth on him is not condemned. Have you got that? But he that believeth not on, is condemned already because he has not believed on the name of the only begotten Son of God. It comes to back to what you believe. Like I talk to people, they believe in Jesus, but they haven't made him their saviour. You've got to get the whole truth. Know the truth and the truth will make you free. You don't just know part of the truth. You've got to know it all. And in John 11... John 11, 25 and 26. Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth on me, though he was dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth on me shall never die. Believest thou this? Jesus Christ came to give us eternal life. The devil comes to rob you, to kill you, and to destroy you. Jesus has come that you might have life. That more abundantly, but you must. Study the Word of God. You must get rid of all those false false, false spirits and believe, only believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, I thank you, Lord, for each one that they are blessed this day. They're walking in your Word and be led by your Spirit. And we give you all the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you very much. God bless you.